What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're used to my boots, working up for the sunrise, and we're gonna make sure we see the sun coming up above the horizon with the clouds and the waves and the water. Look at this. Beach rise. Sunrise at the beach. Bye bye, beach rise. We'll see you next time. That's Queen's Lens. See you next time. Bye, beach. Rise. <laughs> The real reason why we woke up at 5 a.m. was actually to go to the beach to see the sunrise. The see, sign, my... Right. Don't interrupt me, lady. The real reason I got up at 5 a.m. was not actually just to skate the skateboard of Tampa, but also to see a sunrise at the beach. For the longest time, I've been wanting to do what I call a beach rise, beach set trip, where you drive to the other coast during the day and then also see the sun set over the beach. <laughs> we figured what better time to do that than to celebrate our anniversary. And uh, that's what we're doing right now. We had a little bit of time to kill because we can't check into the hotel until 4 p.m. And the drive itself isn't that long. So the skate park of Tampa is on the way to where we're staying. And so we decided that we would make just a little bit of pit stop there, kill some time. I could do some skateboarding. My girlfriend can take some photos of some of the really cool art and the obstacles there. And that's exactly what we did. wasn't the greatest session in the world, but I've only skated that skate park twice, and I think it takes a little bit more time than that to try and really get used to the flow of a skate park. And I'll say, that skate park it doesn't really have a great flow. There's something to be said about skate parks that are designed specifically for contests. And in that sense, they have like two landings, you know, starting points and obstacles within the way. It's not really designed very well to be able to just cruise around, at least not to my skill level. Maybe if I was better, <laughs> then I would be able to have more fun and, and flow better at that skate park. But I guess maybe I'm just a little too used to the skate parks that I've been skating. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I haven't really skated a skate park in a few weeks. If you follow my Instagram, you know that I've been street skating uh, a few times a week for the last few weeks. And I haven't been to the skate park in uh, probably about a month, to be honest. So it's a completely different world skating in the street versus skating in the skateboard because at the streets you're constantly moving, you're constantly skating from place to place, hitting spots along the way, cruising through the streets. Whereas the skate park, you have to sit, wait your turn, unless you're a snake like the little kids there. But <laughs> you have to sit, wait your turn, do your trick, and then rinse and repeat. But street skating, I you just keep moving, and I kind of like that a little bit better. I don't like being sat still because, and I start to think about my own thoughts and who wants to do that.
it's about three o'clock right now. We still got about an hour until we can check in to our hotel. And we decided to make a little, another little pit stop here. A little bit of a sadder pit stop. One of our cats passed away last year and his ashes are spread here at this pet cemetery right near about 30 minutes away from where we're staying so we're gonna stop here we're gonna say hi to him this cemetery is beautiful it's interesting as as humans we're so sentimental about how we regard our dead and we like keep cemeteries so well groomed and maintained like some of the most manicured lawns and like the most beautiful flowers and it's, in, it's really incredible it's a nice place actually to just walk and spend an afternoon yeah. if you don't think about it too much you don't think about what it really is so just beyond this gazebo is the pet cemetery and we're sitting here it's very serene very relaxing actually and i think it's a great place for, for our cat to be there's lots of lizards for him to chase and enjoy and i think it's very relaxing and peaceful he didn't really really love it here and we do too so that's some a little bit of solace. Losing a pet can be very difficult. It can be very tough on your family. You get some solace in the fact of knowing that they're not suffering anymore, knowing that they're being laid to rest in a place that's something that's very nice for them to be. That sentence is very weird at the end. It's So we just made it to the hotel, just checked in, got into our room. As you can see around me, it looks pretty hotel-y. It's fairly bog standard, nothing to write home about, except for this view. So we specifically purchased a room that has an west facing view so that we could be able to see the sunset from our apartment and this is what we got the coastline is all the way within our field of view and we see just beach for miles and miles and miles the sound of waves just emanates throughout the entire hotel room it's like a sound machine but real life and it's absolutely exotic So as luck would have it, or I guess you could say unluck would have it, we chose the absolute worst day to come to the Gulf Coast of Florida because Tropical Storm Fred got in our way and we could not see the sunset absolutely whatsoever because as you can probably see in the footage, the sky was quite gloomy and gray and cloudy all evening long. The restaurant on top of the hotel, which is probably one of the main reasons why we decided to choose this hotel, it was actually it's closed. They're doing renovations or something to the hotel and the restaurant is closed for a couple of more months now which is very unfortunate and quite disappointing but once the initial disappointment wore off we were actually having a good time having some whiskey in the room and there's a little beachside bar downstairs we noticed that this area is not quite as walkable not quite as pedestrian friendly as where we currently live in downtown Orlando which is a bit of a shame we are very spoiled and fortunate, I think, in the last couple of months to be able to just walk to and from restaurants and bars and everything. And um, that's something that we, we sorely missed last night because we did walk a few blocks in the rain trying to find some place, some nice place to eat. Actually, a lot of restaurants down here were closed or either they were just, you know, they looked kind of a little shabby. I mean, they're little beachside grills and bars. We wanted a more fancy, refined, fine dining experience. And so... We ended up stumbling upon this little steakhouse and got actually some really good food. It was a very quaint kind of place, 
but we enjoyed ourselves a good bit last night. Um, actually, maybe a bit too much. Had a bottle of wine, a few glasses, and came back to the room and actually passed out really quickly. You know, Liz, one time when I was in St. Pete, I stayed at this adorable little hotel, boutique hotel. You know, cute chairs, circle chairs. And the rooftop bar was closed. Imagine that. So, you know, I said, well, that's how life goes. And I walked down the beach for miles, and I came across this cute little steakhouse. And that was the best steak I've had in my entire life. So for the final stretch of our extravaganza celebration weekend, we're going to the Salvador Dali Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida, which is actually not too far from our hotel, about 30 minute drive. Uh, we just checked out and we're en route right now. We're gonna go check out what this crazy Spanish man had up his sleeve when it came to decorating the canvases of his life and the world all around us. Uh, I'm sure you guys know this guy. He's uh, pretty well known for his pretty nice, cool, twirly mustachery. Can't see my she can't see her mirror, so I'm gonna bring the camera in kind of close for a moment, and then, um, then you guys don't have to be so uncomfortable. What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today we're at the Dolly Museum. We're gonna check out some dolls. Check out some dolls. It's a Dolly Museum. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell? Can, can you, you tell, tell we're stuffed beyond oblivion and I can barely move? <laughs> <laughs> 